Yeah. Michelle <laughs> Turner must be here for playing Twisted <laughs> Sister. <laughs> Stole my line again, <laughs> Bernard. <laughs> you should embrace it. All right, so Halloween is just around the corner, less than a week away. One university dean is taking steps now to make sure costumes on her campus are politically correct. Would you believe... No cowboys, no Indians, and even a lot of no of a lot of other stuff. Michelle, yeah. what are the details? Yeah, there's a lot of no's here, yeah. Kate. There definitely is. We're talking about the dean at the University of Colorado Boulder. She wrote a letter to students. Her name's Christina Gonzalez. And what she did was she condemned a bunch of costumes for Halloween that she considers offensive, overly sexual. Let me give you some of the ideas of what she considers uh, on her no list. She says... Um, Blackface costumes, of course, sombreros, over-sexualized costumes like geishas, stereotypical costumes like cowboys and Indians. She also um, condemned having theme parties like hillbilly parties or ghetto parties because she said she wants the students to think about the impact that this can have on the community. Now, there are two schools of thoughts here. I mean, is she just being preemptive or is this the PC police going completely crazy? And, and, and I'm not really sure where I fall because I understand what she's saying mm -hmm. and I get some of the things that she doesn't like, but yeah, maybe it is going a bit too far. I'd like to know what she thinks is an acceptable costume then right. because there seems to be more no's on the list than approved, but they're not technically banned. Can students right. face, f students aren't going to face any kind of penalty if no. they're found wearing said costume. No, they're not. They're not banned. They're not going to get in trouble if they want to wear these type of costumes, but they are frowned upon. And this isn't the only university that's doing this. This also happened at the University of Minnesota. Why do it if there's State no teeth? University. Why are you doing it? Why say it? That's a very good question. Well, I I, you can make kids think about it, right? It's something worth thinking about. Look, there was a time I was in college, mm -hmm. and you would go to these Halloween parties, and like every woman at these parties was like a French maid or a sexy cat. I didn't even know cats were sexy, <laughs> and there were like 400 sexy cats. You know, I, I think it's worth, at least worth thinking about right. there. Although, when you're bringing up something like cowboys, exactly. is that too far? And there's a little bit of a backstory here. I mean, I'm a re I, I come from redneck country. Listen. We embrace redneck. We embrace hillbilly. Well, and, and maybe that's okay for some people. She's saying if it offends anyone, then don't do it. But there's a little bit of a backstory here because back in 2011, the faculty at the University of Colorado introduced this resolution where they said they wanted to put restrictions on students uh, painting their faces and their mm. bodies black at sporting events because the colors are black and yellow, and they thought that could be offensive. They also said that a faculty member went out on Halloween in 2011 and saw four kids dressed in blackface for costume, so they had issues with it there. There's a little bit of a meat yeah, backstory that, here. That, that's different. That's I think all of these perfect. political correctness stories come down to one basic idea for me. It is good for people to say the right thing. The emphasis should not be on saying the right thing instead of doing the right thing. As long as what you're passing on to these kids and all of us in general and culture, do the right thing right. where diversity and people and correctness is involved, not just say the right thing. Some of these rules, when it has no teeth and it's just a suggestion, you know, mm -hmm. either make the right point, which treat each other with respect, or just be quiet because right. this is, has no teeth anyway and you're putting cowboys on the list. And I'm loses looking on its there. Lust. I think the cowboy thing goes way too far, mm -hmm. way too far. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Mr. You You're welcome. <laughs> we'll check back in. You no one told me he was going to be here today. Oh, yeah. We're beefing, Berman. <laughs> These two, that's Game why we separate three, you. The Red Sox, three. cards, you stay here. It's true. That is Who true. knew we were going to be the reasonable folks on the I mean, table? This is very awkward. Please quick, get us to break. <laughs>